Hey Queen, so I don't know if this video will go up first or another In Bed With Pedro. No. The In Bed With Pedro got cut off the first half. I don't know what happened to that footage. My phone was being weird. It shut off on me. Wasn't having it. It was like, shut the fuck up. But, um, that video just... I don't know, but I'm still gonna upload the second half. I think there's some pretty fun stuff, and I don't know. I was just like, well, I filmed it. Might as well, and I really haven't uploaded it in a while just because I have been busy, and there's a lot of things... But um, if you do follow me on Instagram or if you like my Facebook and, of course, Twitter, um, you would have seen that I talked about something that I was, like, really, really happy about and everything like that. And um, I have been trying to do something with that. So hopefully, let's all hope here on this channel to all of you who are subscribe, subscribe that something really amazing happens out of it so I can, like, just amaze you guys and kind of inspire you. But, um... Aside from all that, um, I did get, I p did pick up this little thing. Now, I don't really know, because, I mean, I've never really known about it, so I really can't say. And this is my first product for them. So, this is the Rimmel London product. And, again, I don't know if, like, Rita Ora is, like, the face for this product, or if this is, like, her collection. You know, how they had, like, a, I want to say, I want to say Kylie Minogue, but I know it's not her. Maybe it was Carly Kloss that she had a collection with them, and it's, like, her own, like, collaboration of lipsticks or something like that with them i don't know if this is exactly the same thing tell me down in the comments if you know anything about it but um i was at heb so any of y'all who are from texas really you know what an heb is that's like our kroger's if you live in florida or whatever is like specific to your region or stuff like that or state so originally this is 397 and i think it was like for something with tax or something like that and i was like Ooh. <laughs> like it came out expensive like, slightly, you know, after tax or whatever like that. I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. Um, and the funny thing is, I was telling my dad, and I told my mom, because I told him, I said, okay, like, they have the display of it with, like, the peel-off coupons, and then they have, like, another display on the bottom of it. And, like, it has the pictures of certain, like, some products, and, like, that makes you assume that the coupons are only for that product or something like that. But I told my dad, I'm like, no, because it only says any Rimmel London product and, like, any one product you know like that was the only thing that was different but it didn't say specifically like i don't know like uh, a mascara or something like that or like a specific lipstick or anything like that so i was like well might as well take the two dollars so it's cheaper you know like i think they just try to dupe you like that so i mean tip for anyone out there if you're ever shopping for something and you see a coupon that says for any try to look for the same brand for any and then try to find like a in-store coupon that maybe can double up unfortunately i didn't find one for that one the only thing that was on sale were maybelline and covergirl so again if you're on etb and if this video goes up in time go check it out but um again it was 3.97 then i got two dollars off so it came out to 213 i believe so i saved two dollars that was cool and again that was a manufacturer coupon from rimmel so this is the stay glossy lip gloss from rimmel london again i don't know if this is like her own thing or anything like that because i don't see anything on it but there's a little crown on the top, so that's cool. You can kind of see that. And this is in the color Blushing Bell Graves, number 130. And again, this is Stay Glossy. Um, it's supposed to give you up to six hours shine lip gloss. Everything like that. I don't know how much product comes in here. So, oh, 0.18 fluid ounces, 5.5 mil. Everything like that. So again, Rimmel London. Three ninety seven. I'm assuming that's how much it is at most stores, like that. And again, one thirty blushing bell graves. So let's open it. This is kind of like a first impressions. What do I think about this? And I am still working on the eyelash or the looking glass palette. It's just because I know that video is gonna take a while to film. And again, I really don't like edit my videos. And if I do, like it takes a while because I really don't like. I've never really done. I mean, if you see my graveyard girl swatch, like you kind of know. But I'm trying to make that one really cool because I do like eyelash or the looking glass. So. I'm trying to do it justice and everything like that, and I don't want to make, like, a crappy little swatch video, you know? So I am still, like, trying to figure all that out and, like, get, like, a good three hours set aside to do that because I know, like, it's going to take me a while specifically, you know? Like, I'm not a beauty guru, <laughs> but I'm trying to be. So, you know, that's basically, again, what it looks like. And again, that was Blushing Bell Graves. You know, the weird thing is that I'm like, what color is this? And it's 130 Blushing Well Graves. I'm just going to keep saying that because I know maybe one of you will be like, mm, what was the name of it or what was it? You know, Blushing Well Graves 130. Because it does not say anywhere on the packaging, I believe. So that's the one thing that's a little like, meh. Because, I mean, what if someone is like, oh my gosh, what's that color or something like that? Like, it, it honestly does not say anywhere on the packaging itself. So 
that is one little thing that's kind of like, well, I don't know what it is. You know, like, what if you don't remember and you want to buy another one? Like, you don't remember the color unless you made a video and you keep saying number 130, Blushing Bell Graves, so people will know. I know people are going to be like, oh my god, we get it. But, um, it has a weird smell to it. It kind of smells like a soap or a hair product. It smells like something that my grandma would use. <laughs> Like, there's a cosmetic-y, skincare kind of a smell to it. Like a cream. I don't know what it could be. But, I mean, it's pretty cool. It has a white hole. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting again. Just redipping it again. So, basically, this is what it looks like. Kind of matches my hand. That's weird. So, there we go. It's kind of... Kind of reminds me of the... Wet and Wild, I believe, the one that made the metallic moves that I did my John Bonet video. I was having a moment in that. So you can see it's like white and then thin. So there's that. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand. I mean, obviously it's a gloss, so it's not like, I don't know, like a lipstick that's going to be like, wow, you know, like wet pigment. But I mean, you can kind of see it there. Like it's a very like, it's like not there, not there. And then, ooh, you know, there's some shine and there's like a little hint of pink from afar. And let me just put this back in there so I don't, like, drop it or something. And, oh, let me close it. So there it is there. You can kind of see, it is a very nice, like, nudie color. Um, sometimes my, my lips are, like, naturally pink or, like, they're a little bit red. It just depends on, like, when I'm scrubbing them or whatever. And tonight I'm going to shave. Because I have the Ariana Grande concert tomorrow, so that's going to be fun to kind of, like, try to slay my makeup a little bit more and hope it lasts throughout the whole day. Because, I mean, I'm, I get pretty shiny, but, you know. Just gonna double up on the powder, but there you go. You can kind of see like the hint of shine when I do that back and forth, back and forth. Again, you can see like it's a very nudie pink, which I like that look because it reminds me of like Kim Kardashian's like signature nude lip. And I remember they had like a Kardashian Chroma lip kit, and it was like Kim's nude lip or something. Like you can just see again the shine there. Now, supposedly it's supposed to give you six hours of shine. I mean, I can always, like, try to update y'all when I'm at school or something, if I'm doing, like, a vlog or whatever, and be like, was this really six hours? And if it, like, leaves a line on the, like, the inside of your lips, you know what I'm talking about? Or if it starts to get weird or separate or, you know, do something funky. I don't know. And, like, we can also see how it interacts with my Jouer lip topper, but I really don't think I'm going to use it because, like, this is already glossy and shiny, so, you know, that's fun. But, again, I really like the color. It's pretty cool. And it still kind of has that little smell to it. I don't know what it is, but sitting on the skin, it looks pretty fun, like... I guess like any other gloss. I mean, I've never really used a gloss, so I really can't go off of anything. But let's see how it looks like on the lips. I don't have a mirror in front of me. That is the bad part, so we'll just do that. Okay, for me, who I have big lips, the wand is really nice. But I think you can see that it did add some color right away. Which I'm not mad about. It's cool. That was just one slight swipe. Swipe. It doesn't feel weird. Now I scrub my lips so I don't feel texture, but I mean, if you have drier lips, you probably want to scrub them more just to get them smooth. Let's go in with another swipe. I have big lips, so this is actually a very forgiving doe foot applicator. Well, not really a doe foot, but like, you know what I mean? That, that shape, whatever that shape is called. But does it look as shiny as it does on my hand? I don't think so like I, we're not getting this shine well slightly but you know it's not like as much as this but again remember this is like a little hand swatch i do have big lips so maybe it kind of will take me a little bit more so let's go in for a third swipe and i think there we are kind of seeing you know the shine that i was expecting and fourth swipe really other side i feel like you can get like if you have regular size lips like both sides are like top and bottom lip. I mean, it feels really good. It feels fun. So. It looks nice. If you're wondering how I'm, like, looking over here, I'm just looking at my phone screen because this is the camera hole. It is, so. we. I don't see a line, which is really good because, you know, sometimes you get that line here on your lips and it's like, oof, it looks gross sometimes if you don't know. But I mean, that shine is pretty cool. Now, of course, this is in the camera. I'm not looking at it in person with a mirror, but I'm pretty sure it looks good. And I think that is kind of like the shine how we have there, again, on the hand. It's really cool. Like, it looks really nice. 
It looks like a nice nudie lip. You know, you just want to pop this on, like if you don't really need makeup. I mean, I mean, if you've seen my videos where I take all my full coverage mask and foundation off, like, you know what's under my, f <laughs> you know what is under all of this. I mean, I mean, peekaboo, you can see a little bit of everything, but hey, <laughs> you want to know how I cover it up, go watch that video, see what I use. But, um, that's what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. I like it. So this is really like a first impression review thing. Is it Pedro approved? Um, I think so, yeah. I mean, for the price, if you can actually get the manufacturer's coupon for $2 off, I think it's even better. But I mean, for $3.97, it came out to four something. I mean, it's not the worst lip gloss. And it's not like the best in terms of like, you know, just want to try something cool. Or like maybe you're a fan of Rita Ora and this is her collection. And her collaboration, I think it's a really nice thing. So again, it's Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Blush. That's what it says here on the receipt. But again, Stay Glossy. This is what it looks like. And it was in the number 130, Blushing Bell Graves, or something like that. So look for that. Look for this. And of course, it doesn't say the thing on here. So try to, like, remember that in your head or something. Um, and again, I mean, if you can get the $2 manufacturer coupon, if you're an ATB or some drugstore, I think, again, it'll be very, very good. I mean, who doesn't want to save money? And again, if you're at the drugstore, like Walgreens and stuff like that, and you know how you get points back? Or CVS has the extra care bucks and sometimes in your emails i think you get like surprise points to use on stuff use that um get all your points and you know sometimes you can even save it for like christmas or anything like that and you can just go like makeup shopping or whatever and stuff and i think also just look for again manufacturer coupons and in-store coupons that you can double up and you can even save even more money try to even get cash back if you're lucky and stuff like that but i mean this is a it's a pretty cool gloss and again, it's not like a crazy color. It's not like so pigmented that you're like, oh my god. But um, I think that's nice. It looks like my lips are just like really taken care of. Like it doesn't look as crazy as the Jouer Lip Topper. Because I kind of wear that as like a gloss itself over when I wear... Because I usually just have EOS lip balm. And I think this kind of gives me like a muted down version of that. Which I'm like... And of course it's some pigment. Like you know, like that's kind of cool. So I had just like a little pop of like nudie pink color and I thought like this one was just a perfect little thing. So again, probably like four something after tax. That's state of Texas. So anyway, I really hope you like this little first impression review kind of a deal. And I don't know, I really thought I would just start doing like these little things. Like if I find a sale or something to try to tell y'all about it and just like, hey, you know, I found like this like cool affordable product and stuff like that. And who knows? But again, if you don't know or you haven't been following my channel for a while, I do have a giveaway. And that ends on my birthday, April 16th, which is Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Texas time. So all you have to really do is subscribe. Um, go watch that video. You know, you can like it and share it and everything like that and follow me on social media. But really, you just have to be a subscriber and you will be entered to win. And I'm really hoping that you guys will stick with me on this channel and in this journey on stuff that I like to do. So again, 130 Blushy Bell Graves, $4.397. Rainbow London, and I don't know if it's Rita Ora's collection or not, so. Anywho, I want to say hi to Rami Malik, stay safe, and God bless little queens, and hopefully I do get some footage for the Ariana Grande concert tomorrow, and you all will be excited if one thing that I'm banking on really, really, really does happen and come to fruition, so. Hi to Rami Malik.